also always was written uh, for, not really for, but as a description um, for this girl named Majesty who's been dealing with liver issues her whole life, has been on uh, the liver transplant list for a few years, recently went through a living donor and is recovering from that. Majesty is my friend. Um, and I can confidently say like, like everyone is all, you know, there's people who have joy and you're like, are you okay? Like, are you fine? Like, you really are going, are you really sad and like acting happy? I saw this girl just go through disappointment after disappointment, heartbreak after heartbreak. Uh, probably six months ago, um, sh we were having a party to celebrate an upcoming liver transplant and so it was probably three or four days away and it was a living donor where this girl said i will gladly you know give part of my liver so that you can be healthy whatever so we gather as a church family we you know we eat together and there's probably 100 people there we're all celebrating this and we sang always that night i believe I, I believe we did and like dusty just stopped everything and he was like i just want to take a moment and like just pray for the Caballero family because he was like, I, because of the donor and like seeing if it happens or not, but. Little did any of us know that literally that day she had gotten a call from her living donor saying, I have to back out. Um, the living donor's mom, oddly enough, just got diagnosed with cancer. And so she had to withdraw her name from the living donor option. All of us kind of like getting our hopes up and like being like, this is really happening for her. Like, this is gonna happen. And then when it didn't, it was kind of like, what in the world are you doing? Like, it it was so cool because the way that Majesty trusted God filtered out into how everyone else reacted. And so we're all there to celebrate uh, this big thing. And she, Majesty walks up on stage and says, I know you're all here to celebrate, but I got a call today and it's not gonna happen. But I just believe God uh, is good, He's faithful, He's still a healer and all these things. And so I just saw this song play out. And when I say always, I will worship you always in every season in all things, my song will never change. Majesty's song has never changed. I'm sure there's been days, hard days where she's filled with doubt or frustration or questioning, but from an outsider's perspective, I have seen this girl just stay faithful to the Lord and say, in every season, whether the mountaintop or the valley, I will worship you always. I'm like, I don't know if I could do that. <laughs> I would be going crazy, but like, she carries this overwhelming peace and overwhelming joy. And like, and it so spreads out to everyone else around her. Normal Zarya would have been like, well, that freaking sucks. Like, why would God do that? Like, why would he not? There's a liver literally sitting right there. Why would he not, like, like why would that happen? And like, Magic is just being like, no, it's always better his way, always. It's never, and it's always better in his timing. And like, just to see what's happened over the past, like 11 weeks for her of like getting the transplant and things like that, she didn't let disappointment overwhelm her. And I'm like, I don't know if I could have done the same thing. Like, yeah, so.